Hello everyone and welcome back to another Space Engineers video. Today we'll be working on the triangle in front of the bridge and the mapping out of the underside of the ship. If you look in the description there will be a couple of photos there and a inspiration kind of picture of where I kind of thought I was going with the design until it got way way bigger and yeah kind of outgrew its initial thought picture so that's down there too we will get to see kind of the direction we're going with the ship so we're starting off kind of trying to get this slant under the front end to uh, be at a good angle uh, I'm gonna try this a couple times but it, it's not till I look back and kind of study my SketchUp model that I understand why it wasn't working that's because it was way too shallow of an angle so the kind of stuff that I'm going for with this area under here is more of a cargo bay and I forget no I forget it's not that point it's not what I meant it's, I don't know how to pronounce the name but there's someone in my comments that have been saying that or have been helping me try and figure out a uh, what's it a purpose a s class for the ship there we go what is this ship used for and we came up he suggested a pioneer ship and that made me think of the star citizen pioneer and i really like the idea of a ship not necessarily built for uh colonizing worlds but a built a ship built for making outposts or getting outpost populace or something in that kind of vein that find a new world and put in something to it and the user's name, sorry for this, but Stizik? It's best I'm gonna get. Best you got. I tried. Anyway, uh, there's a lot of finalizing on different shapes around the ship here. Uh, the front end, or the back end, sorry, is gonna get a little bit of a reshaping. And we have a lot to do on the back end. I actually might end up uh, moving where the thrusters are. And if you could see that, I had to do that. Uh, that panel I just did of blocks in two sections. That's how big this thing is. When you make a plane with blocks, the areas that I've been doing in this video, or will be doing in this video, are too big to do with a single operation. So you need to do it in sections. This thing is absolutely massive. And I don't even know how massive this thing is yet because I haven't started really getting in and building the interior of base, but I've basically been doing basic parts of the ship and it's insane it's absolutely insane uh, there are a couple of different areas that we kind of mess up for the overall function or overall shape there are some smaller shapes that are sacrificed for it but we will continue on with it as is like I said in the last video I don't know if this ship's going to last to a completed state because like I said in the last episode as well it's the shapes that I've chosen to build this ship with aren't great and they they conflict a lot especially with the space engineers engine I don't mean with the virgins and I mean with space engineers as a building thing but anyway enough of complaining about the engine um, we're about done with what I thought was the final slant until I realized that the triangle that I'm trying to try, triangle that I'm making in front of the bridge is far too uh, square, not square, but rectangle. It's a two by one, basically. The triangle is twice as long as it is wide, and that means it's going to reach the bottom point in the same amount of distance that it takes to go widthwise, which is the one. So it takes about, I think it's 10 blocks, so five meters. Let me even uh, slim up the bridge here. I did this, it's not in the image, in the uh, SketchUp image, but it, it felt better making this little edge. I didn't want the bridge on the outside completely because it felt bit exposed so I went with on the inside that was me getting my spectator camera over here um, I did switch maps between this episode and last episode uh, to have it load a bit faster 
And notice I'm using one by two ramps. If they, that's why this triangle is a uh, one by two uh, ratio. And this triangle gets reworked so much. This entire front end, yeah, you'll see. It'll all make sense in about 15 minutes. Be great. So we are gonna use uh, the large ship small blocks. I, th I don't know. I think it's small ship gone or yeah, small ship gone large mod pack pile of blocks. So it's a larger version of the small ships. Th same thing I use for the thrusters. When we get to putting a window on this bottom piece, I believe. Ah yes, I lowered the floor one because it was too high. That's because the slope next to the bridge was um, built slightly wrong. Slightly wrong because it didn't have that bevel or that kind of that missing block along the edge of it. And it made it broken. And you can see here that the 1x2 uh, face windows are not lining up. So this is where I decide... Or this is where I looked back at the photo and like, oh, because it's supposed to be a really steep slant. It's actually supposed to be a one by one slant. So it's just supposed to come to as uh, deep down into the corner and uh, then be a flat plane really close to the, the front so that it kind of is a back plate to the corner that we're going to put in front of the bridge. So a lot of measuring happened and a lot of miss matching between the design that I have in the images and the ship I have here. I think this one, in some areas, this dimension's way bigger. I think I'm just missing something. I, I'm not quite sure, but I'm pretty sure I'm missing something. So that is going to be what the edge looks like. And it does look um, very odd when you uh, look at the, the, what's it called? the angle of the slope, but it does kind of come out in the end. You'll, you'll see. It's fine. So, more more kind of fine-tuning of that. Uh, we are going to kind of, I think I've said this already, but rework a lot of the shape of it. I know I'm going to repeat myself, but it's, it's fine. It's fine. And now we have this angle that is 2 by one or at least supports a 2 by one surface without it to look at it without it being non airtight and these are the windows we're gonna use it creates a very nice look to it the, the large blocks I really like them but I really hate that they're uh, only for large blocks I really wish that they were supported for large grids it makes no sense why they're not like I could imagine a game this game where both grids are both grids be so so nice anyway um we are gonna actually i believe i don't know when we do it but well, here we're cutting off most of the the extra stuff just so we can work on the overall shape of it uh and we are gonna cut off the front end i forget where i decided to do that and i decided to do it because i wanted the front end to line up with the, uh, I think we're doing it here, with the windows. I know that's a dumb thing, but I didn't want to have the windows be 10 by five by five blocks, and then the smaller one by ones. So, yeah, that's what we're gonna go with. And so we actually extend the entire front end, the four or so blocks it would have taken. And like I said, this is one of the concessions that we made, or that I made, for the better overall design, but a couple places it's a interesting problem. Like on the other side, on the big long slope we have going all the way down the ship, there are a couple blocks near this kind of gap that are just straight instead of uh, the normal slope. On the other side, we don't have this issue because of the uh, the cockpit, not the cockpit, but the bridge area and the 
that other the small slope and small one next to the bridge that we don't have that issue because it, it's not there. That space is just not there. But I am liking the overall design, and this episode has actually made me want to work on this more and get it to a more complete state. So I am happier at the end of this episode than I was at the end of the last one. I definitely want to get in and start making the shape a bit more purposeful to the pioneer uh, career. That's the word I was looking for, career. Um, I don't exactly know what I want to make that mean. So pioneer, at least to me, basically means putting people in new spots. Uh, not necessarily a colony, but at least going to find new areas. I don't want it an explorer vessel, because I feel like that should be a smaller, more sensor-oriented ship. Like, this is the ship that comes after the initial sensor readings. So, meh. That's what I got. I actually screwed up this, uh, this part, and I changed it. I think I should go and change it back, because I, I don't know why I did this, but I cut it off and then move it up, and then it was the wrong way, and now it's kind of broken, but I don't know why, dude. It was just broken, and then I did that, and like, oh, now it's fixed, but it's not fixed, because I just put the, the little block that goes down the edge, and it's, it's wrong, okay? It's just wrong. I don't like it. I was bad for doing it. But anyway, see, this three blocks here is on the other side as well, so it's odd just just odd but we're coming up almost to where we end the episode so we got about about five minutes um i really want to make the the aesthetic of the bridge not the bridge but the entire ship this kind of hmm how do i explain that one a nice place to be like people on this ship want to be there and the ship reflects that wanting to be there. It's not an industrial level ship. It's not a military ship. It's and it's not a civilian ship. It's not a commercial ship. It's a it's not even a private ship. Hmm. I I've kind of like knocked out all of the industries. And I'm doing it badly. So this is me raising back up the stupid slant that I just removed and put up to the other side it was yeah I kind of broke the entire thing so I'm actually gonna have to go and I don't know if I actually did go in and bite the bullet and just rebuild the entire thing this is me notice that I did so wrong it actually does come down all the way oh I just didn't notice it and I knew I was messing something up as you can see I just keep going back and forth like what did I do wrong Everything's the same, except it does the slant on the bottom, or the lower slant does go all the way to the bottom. The thing that I think I realized somewhere in here is that the slant itself is too low and the slant should be higher. Yeah, there it is. And that is what kind of offset the entire slope. It might change a little later, like everything in this ship might change a little later. We might choose a completely different design, but I doubt it. I think we'll get this to a mostly stable kind of thing. Uh, there's a lot of room to play with, and I mean a lot of room. So I'm thinking that a lot of the uh, thrusters are going to be interior to keep the exterior look, unless I can find some way to work in the thruster aesthetic into the exterior. Um, I know at least retro thrusters are going to be on the interior because we have plenty of space for it it's just the sideways and up and down aren't as easy to hide uh, maybe I'll find just an overpowered thruster mod just to make it look like it's supposed to this is not supposed to be a functional or survival like ship it's supposed to be what it's built for so meh that's what we got so this is, that's where that little weird spot is. I believe a lot of what we do now is just clean up on the inside. Because I don't remember doing much else. And there's a lot of areas on this thing 
that just needed a little bit of cleanup. That wall is still there. I said so many times that we were getting rid of... No, wait. No, it's still there. I just forgot. We just flipped over the ship. Yeah, that wall we built is mostly still there. Like, everything I've built in episode one or two probably needs a rework at this time. That kind of whole back end, the thruster room area, is just... It's a bit crammed together for how much space we have in the ship, and I haven't tested if this ship moves in since I tested it last time. I think that was in episode one or two. So I don't even know if this thing will go forward, much less any other direction. So I forget what, oh yeah, so I figured out that something was wrong on this side. I believe it was, I was trying to fix the problem that I had made myself with the gap. And that ends up making or adding a little more to the asymmetry, which, again, tailors to the overall design, but not the detailed design, because it does make it awkward, to say the least, because we add a bit of height onto this, and it's just it's just weird, because even though it's supposed to be a continuous slant from the tip to the tail, it just comes out really weird. And I apologize for anyone with OCD, because this is going to bug the crap out of you. And this is kind of the last thing we do in the episode. I think next episode we will be getting to... I don't want to say finishing up, but working more on the underside. Uh, there's a big challenge coming up that will probably go as good as the last episode did, in that it's going to be such a headache and pain to do. But it's a weird double slant like these wings were um, on the underside, under the ridge area on that entire side. This side is supposed to be, I believe, an entire slant on the ship. So, yeah. This is going to be interesting. But that will do it for this episode, guys. I believe we have like a minute or so left in the episode. A minute or two. But I'll oh, say closing comments. Anyway, because what the stupid editor has and what I can see is just weird. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.